yeah remember subscribe to as the heading suggests it's a part two of my contraceptives experience after the depot shot i just needed a long term thing so i went for the three three years family planning method it's called it was called next plan on so i was on it from 2015 it's a three-year plan now it was expected to end in tw around 2018 july there or october i can't really remember because the moment you get that next plan on it's it's a one road this, so the next plan on is a road it's it's a small it's a small car road inserted here it's the size of a match stick a white road it's just inserted under the arm under the I'm not a nurse I'm just telling you what was inserted in my hand it's inserted under the skin on the arm not anywhere else I think on the arm and it provides uh, contraceptives for three years that's why I went for it because we had planned to separate our kids for three years so 2015 i expected to get rid of it in 2018 then you there's a small bandage that is put on the on the site where you are inserted because it becomes a wound it's not a surgery they just numb the area so it becomes a wound so there's a small bandage they put for you and tell you that that area should not touch water for around three three days it's a normal thing for a wound or for a surgery those people who have gone for cs like me the first three days the wound there is meant to be dry for it to dry and start the healing process so it's the same as here it's not a surgery per se but it's it's an incision so you it's it's something that they cut you with and it's inserted inside the road is inserted with that thing so it doesn't have to be on water or to be wet for three good days that was what I was told yeah and after three days now you're okay um, uh, after insertion i couldn't lift anything heavy because the moment i lift anything heavy it started bleeding so i avoided doing hard work and uh, heavy duties completely for the three days yeah so after three days you're healed you're good to go almost two years after the insertion bleeding i never had my period i i was a freestyler that was the happiest thing with me but the weight gain from the depot never went off i did not shed the weight from the depot because from my experience that the experience that i shared with you on the depot i came from a size 10 to a size 14 so the weight never went away in fact the weight it increased slightly but not very much on on the next plan on on the implant it's an implant but it's one road i even enrolled for that class with my neighbors but my weight never went down so i told myself maybe it's the mother weight that or the mother body that is forming so but weight never gives me stress I've never been stressed up because of the baby weight, baby fat, weight, no. I'm just confident in my body, confident in my skin, confident with myself, so the way I am. So weight was not an issue. So the next with the next plan on uh, I can't complain on the on the on the lack of sex drive. Everything was normal, everything was okay. For weight gain weight I didn't I didn't gain a lot of weight as people would think that an implant will make you gain weight that my, that's my experience I didn't gain a lot of weight I didn't but the weight on the depot did not shed off as I said earlier it's a repetition then the headaches were not there as, of, as opposed to with the depot this one I even forgot that I had the rod in my hand completely forgot for two years I never had my periods i was very okay so after the two 24 months is when now i got my first period which was okay and it was light so it was not a big deal and it became now consistent it is now to get it like after two months two months two months the next plan on with the next plan on i told you with the depot my acne got worse 
but with the next plan on my skin really cleared I don't know what defense they have I think it's a concentration of hormones on the depot for a short period of time and this is a concentration that will last it's it's extended for a specific period of time I really did not understand the working on the two the contrast on the two but my acne really cleared and I really had a smooth skin I never saw even a pimple for the time I was on on the implant on the next plan on so that was a plus for me and uh, yeah it worked on my skin it worked on my weight I was okay on my periods I was okay like after like two and a half years on the on the implant I started feeling sick I started feeling nausea in the morning and I, I asked you know you know you that you that free until you've forgotten that you can get pregnant so come two and a half years it was around November I started feeling sick sick I'd inserted this the knee the the road in around June June or July June or July 2015 so I was supposed to get rid of it in 2018 June or July after like yeah June or July so it was around November I started feeling sick I started feeling nauseous and you know you that comfortable lady I told myself, you know, when I was going to the hospital, I decided to go for a for a checkup in the hospital, uh, just near where I stay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I told them, I, me, me, it's is Kiwi uh, They, I, they asked me the symptoms. I told them the symptoms. They told me, are you sure you're not pregnant? That was the most shocking question I was asked by that. And I told him, but um, I'm on an implant that is supposed to last for three years. The first test they they did was pregnancy and malaria because all the symptoms that I had portrayed, from the nausea to the getting tired to being moody to so they decided. Plus the the ache, every body part was aching. They decided to do malaria and pregnancy test. So the malaria turned negative and guess what? The pregnancy turned positive. Two and a half years. And they thought the family planning was there for three years. So this family planning really lost its effectiveness after two and a half years. That's my experience. I don't know what other people have experienced. So I'm sharing my experience. So it backfired on the two, on the second, on the 2.5 year, and I got pregnant in November 27, 2017, yes, and I gave birth in July 2018, yes, now to my second baby who is currently turning two years in July this month the baby is turning two years next week that's why I decided to share my experience so next plan on really backfired on me two and a half years down the line I got pregnant I don't know how I now had to go and remove the, the road and uh, on removing I even did not disclose the to the doctor why I'm, I'm removing it I just told him I'm planning to get another kid that's why I'm removing it because the frustration was it took time for me to accept that I'm pregnant and I'm on a contraceptive so I just accepted over time I accepted when the I think when the pregnancy was around five months because I didn't have morning sickness the pregnancy was too normal the second pregnancy was too normal until I thought that the family planning has affected my kid. Very normal, no morning sickness, nothing, nothing. So, but that's my experience on the implant. So I'll give you my experience now on the 
on what I used now after the, sec the second baby and uh, what I'm currently on. So if you're new here, remember subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you. Thank you for the support. I will really be glad if you subscribe to my channel so that you get more insight into life, more experiences on life happenings, more experiences on, you know, you learn from your experiences and the experiences that you acquire from others. So welcome to my channel if you're new here and remember subscribe. Thank you very much.